Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today I am doing this fun Sakura inspired look. Um, I am so excited for spring. I cannot wait for the cold to be done and over with. So I wanted to create this kind of fun spring Sakura inspired look. Um, so I did a little cluster of Sakura on the side of my face and just kind of kept the eyes really simple with some green liner. Um, if you guys want to know how I got this look, just stay tuned. So I'm just going to start off by priming my eye with a white concealer just so the colors will really pop and adhere. So I'm going to be using the AOA Wonder Cover Concealer and Highlighter and I'm using my Itty Bitty Baby Beauty Blender to just blend it out all over the lid. Um, we want a nice white base for all the colors to pop and then I'm going to take whatever is left and just go right underneath my eye. Now using the BH Cosmetics 28 Smoky Eyes Color Palette, um, I'm mainly going to be using this for the entire look, but I'm going to use this really pretty shimmery champagne white gold color. It's so pretty. And I'm going to put that on the inner part of my lid so that the eyes are open and ready for spring. And of course, because I have hooded eyes, I am bringing it up past my crease. Then taking this really light pastel pink, I'm going to put that on the middle of my lid and just blend it in with that white. And of course, I will be bringing it all the way up past my crease. This is a great tip for those who have hooded eyes like I do. You want to bring the shadow up so that way when you open your eyes, you can actually see the hard work that you've done. Then I'm going to go in with that top pink color, which has a bit more purple in it, and it's deeper in color. And I just wiped off my brush on my pants because, you know, I just, I really like this brush. <laughs> so I'm just going to put that on the outer portion of my lid. And just blend it in with that pink. Thankfully, these colors go really well together, so you don't have to worry about harsh lines or anything like that and I'm also going to take that pink later on and put it underneath my lower lash line um, I just kind of forgot to show that and I use the same pink to do my eyebrows as well just so it'll match the wig now I'm going to go in with my foundation um, I'm using the wet n wild photo focus foundation in porcelain and I'm just putting it all over my face, just like I normally would, and blend it out with my Real Techniques sponge. And I ended up using about two layers of this foundation um, before I set it with the e.l.f. Translucent Setting Powder, which is my holy grail setting powder. I love this stuff. I always set under my eyes first because them bad boys crease no matter what. And then going in with the City Colors Blush Quad. And this is just the pink quad. And I'm just going to apply some blush like nobody's business. And then of course contour with my City Colors Contour. 
Um, it's actually a blush, but I use it for contour. And I'm just trying really hard to make myself look thin. <laughs> and then Corpse Cosmetics Sirens Glow in Victorian because I love this stuff. It has a really nice light purple glow. And it's so good for us pale skins. Um, so yeah. And of course you can stop here, but I'm extra. So I wanted to keep going. So I'm taking a green water activated paint. These are from Wolf. And I just have like a really cool essentials kit that you can easily get off Amazon. And I'm going to take that green on a thin brush, just activated with water. And I'm going to use that for my liner. Now you can use, of course, your regular liner if you have green liner. Um, I just wanted to use the activated paints. So, yeah. <laughs> then I'm taking that green and I'm going to draw like a little vine from my face. And going in with the pink. I'm going to start on the sakura petals. It was really hard to do this on my face. <laughs> Like, I practiced on my hand, but oh boy, it was hard to do it on my face. Um, so, just practice. Um, you can do it. <laughs> Get the hang of it. I did a full flower, and I did some petals, some buds, and stuff. So, you know, I didn't have to do all flowers. Then, I'm going to go in with a little bit of white, and actually a dry brush. Well, the paint was kind of wet um, from when I was practicing, but I just took it and kind of highlighted parts of the flowers and the petals just to give it a more 3D effect. And the brush that I used is a thin brush, but it definitely has seen better days, so it gave it a more kind of organic look. And then doing the same with the red, also a brush that has seen better days. And just filling the inner portion of those flowers to give it more dimension. Then I added a pink wig, which I love this. This is my Supersonica wig, and I love it so much. <laughs> um, and then I'm going to go in with for the lips. I just wanted some gloss because the face is pretty dramatic. And I used the Buxom Lip Gloss in Berry Blast to complete this fun Sakura Cherry Blossom inspired look. And that is the tutorial. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this look. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you have not. Also click that little notification bell to be notified of every single upload that I upload here on my channel. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I love you guys so much, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!